Howdy folks. Um, I've had a wonderful day today. I actually didn't do much of anything since I worked for 12 hours yesterday. I was trying not to get too overwhelmed. These are all my little dry bags of, of stuff. But I wanted to get this clear so I could show you. You know I told you how I'm going by intuition. Uh, and I think about this all the time. How can I make medicine that is sound with scientific evidence backing it? But also, how can I make it accessible for people? So, you know I'm doing the little tinctures um, that I'll be taking to farmer's market. And I will have some available to mail out. But... One of the things I decided to do today is, is my daughter does a, uh, a ginger slices in brandy, uh, for nausea. And I have, I have a little jar here that I keep on hand for that. But what I decided to do was I'm going to be making some tinctures with the brandy and the ginger so what i did is i bought, bought a whole mess of ginger for one thing whole mess of it means you know a, a bag it's a mess of it and what i did was i grinded it up i put some brandy in it and some water and ground it up and i've got it in my two jars right here so what I'll be doing is I'll be making little jars like that other little small one where I'll take about a tablespoon of, of ginger and you can kind of see how it settles. Take about a tablespoon of ginger and put it down in the little jar. Maybe, maybe a little bit more than a tablespoon. And then I'm going to pour brandy over it. And I'm going to have that for an anti-nausea medicine. Well, on my way back from Huntsville today, I decided to stop at the liquor store. Because I hadn't brought, bought any brandy in a while. What I made that little bottle of was just a little cordial bottle I had picked up. So, I decided to buy some. Well, you can see how much... I used now I bought this today but I used that much you can see the empty part in these two jars grinding it I wanted it ground up get all the good stuff out suspend it in the alcohol so then I bought this some peach brandy oh my goodness who thought of that whoever did thank you Thank you very much from the bottom of my southern heart. Peach brandy. That's some good smooth stuff right there, y'all. That's that's good stuff. So what I'll be doing is I'll be making little jars with some anti-nausea medicine. Okay. So while I'm in here, on my way back from Huntsville, I saw my mosa grove with real low hanging branches so that I could gather them easy so i just stopped the car well, i pulled in stopped the car got a little little brown paper bag out you know i i keep them i buy those packs of brown paper bags and i keep them in the back of my car so what i did was i i filled a whole bag full up with my mosa blossoms so i decided well you know what that that worked pretty good for grinding up the the ginger Let's just go and start grinding some stuff up and let's see if that helps us at all with re releasing the chemicals, the plant chemicals that are our medicine. So, I put a cup of water in the blender and I, I, I put some Everclear in there and then I just started putting blooms, my most of blooms over in there and grinding it up. Well, it came out with a quart jar full, but you can see how after it ground up, all this in the bottom is where all that concentrate's going to be. So I got that going. Well, my cereola 
plants that blew over in my one can of dentsis that blew over today well last night in that storm well I'd already uh, pulled the leaves off of them I did that video I've already uploaded it well I'm tired it's hot y'all my kitchen is on the southwest corner of the house I'm tired of cooking all the time having that heat in here so I decided well you know what I'm gonna cut up those stalks I'm gonna grind them up now now stalks are really hard to grind uh, these were small and I had actually already snipped them up and put them in a jar before I left for Huntsville and I'd had them soaking in just a little bit of, of PGA but so when I got done doing this I said you know what we're just we're gonna go and grind these up too so I put a cup of water in there and then I put oh probably probably two or three ounces of, of PGA in there and then I just started feeding the the little little cut pieces of stem in there and then I'd, I'd press it and get it ground up and I press it again and get it ground up now I'm going to pour that back over into this jar and I'm going to put a lid on it and a date on it and we're going to see what happens but this this um, herbal medicine is very intuitive if it turns out ooky and I don't think anybody would even want it well of course I, I keep it and I use it I don't care if something's ooky or not if it's good for you I've learned that sometimes things that are good for you are ooky uh, and and I'm I'm a grown up now so I can deal with ooky things of course, if it's got alcohol with it, it makes it easier to deal with. So, I've got this all ground up. I'm going to grind it up some more. And adding the, the liquid to it, you know, starting with the liquid, and then feeding those stalks a little bit at a time, just little cut pieces at a time, and then, and then running it. Just doing it a little at a time. Add a few more. Do it a little bit more. And that's that's going to be the way that we can use our some of our stalks that are, I'd say, uh, none of them were as big as the thickness of my finger. Now you get into much bigger than that, and you're going to tear your blender up. But cutting them up, having the liquid in there first, adding them a little at a time. I'm going to have me a good mix. So I did want to show you a couple of these other things. Now I didn't read that in a book or anything. Um, I just went, you know what, let's just try it. Why not? Just try it. So there's your another little thing. Uh, I hope it's helpful. If you want to try it, that's fine. If not, we're still learning together. So until my next video, y'all have a good evening and goodbye.